Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. Good Tuesday morning, uh, 20, well, just turning 20 minutes before the hour, and we are waking up to a, well, that is a sparkling morning out there, that, to be sure. However, it may sparkle just a little bit too much. Uh, we had a lot of showers yesterday, and it was a mix. Rain, we had sleet, we had uh, a wet snow, we had snow later in the day. All of that has frozen, and likely some of it is not only on the streets, it's on your car as well. Consequently, give yourself a little extra time this morning. 23 degrees at the Bend Airport, 20 degrees at Roberts Field, and we're looking at staying a little bit on the cool side. I'll show you why here in just a second. The eastern half of our nation is in pretty good shape. Uh, we did send some storm activity off to the east. Uh, that's going to marry up with some uh, moisture out of the southwest, and it's going to create some problems. It's not too bad this morning, but but through the Midwest and the and points east, it is going to be pretty stormy. Here in the Northwest, we're actually anticipating the arrival of a high pressure center that's already uh, made itself known. Now we're kind of out at the front of this thing. Uh, the center for that system is well off in the Pacific. However, being at the front of it like this, it draws a lot of cold air out of the north. Even though our skies have cleared and that's storm activity is out of the way, uh, we are going to stay a little bit on the chilly side. And tomorrow, this high pressure center just moves a little bit to the south. And that leaves us with this northerly and northwesterly flow. Once again, we'll stay fairly clear, but we are going to stay fairly chilly. It won't be until about Thursday that we get a much fairer airflow. And with that will come some warmer temperatures. This morning, we are are really cold across, uh, well, even across much of our state. Central Oregon, uh, those airport temperatures are mild compared to some. 13 in Sun River, 16 in Lapine. It is a chilly and icy morning, so give yourself a little extra time to deal with that. Highs today are going to be scattered through the 40s. Uh, if we hit the mid 40s, uh, that's going to be very fortunate. May have a couple of spots that'll get a little warmer than that but not too many. Uh, we'll, uh, we're not looking at much wind right now. We won't see much through the day. It'll stay fairly gentle out of the southwest. Tonight, it will turn more northwesterly, and it will be cold once again, upper teens to mid-20s for most of central Oregon. So tomorrow, you can just about put ditto marks on what you're seeing today. It won't, as we were saying, it won't be until Thursday that we see that warm-up come, and and it will stay with us as we go into the weekend. Saturday night and Sunday, even into Sunday night, we'll have a chance of some cold showers, might even see some more snow, and it does look like it'll leave behind some cold air going into next week.